Hi there. In this video, we'll take a look at how we can link documents while Notepad is docked on the desktop. So I'm going to quickly open up uh, OneNote. Um, my travel notebook is presently open. That was the last um, document I worked with. So again, last document we work with is always uh, open by default when you open up OneNote. Now if I go to View, Dock to Desktop, that basically keeps OneNote running off to the side of the desktop. So what this does is whatever document is active, then the text that we add will become a link to that, that active document. So I'll show you an example with um, a web page and a Word document. So I'm going to quickly just give myself a new line at the end of my to-do list. And I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. So it's important that you create a new line, otherwise it'll make this line a link. So I create a new line, I open up the document and make it active, and then I add my text, and then the, the text will be the link. So I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. This only works with Internet Explorer, by the way, or um, there it is. And then I'm going to go to, I'm going to, go to the website with, that I wish to link to. So I'm, uh, I want to link to the um, Australian Museum. So if I just click in the address bar and type in Australian Museum, it actually pops up because I've used this before, but you could just enter. I'll just type in Australian Museum. And that brings me to the Australian Museum website. So in this line that I added, I just simply type in Australian Museum website. As soon as I start typing, OneNote lets me know what I basically told you about. So it automatically creates a link to documents or web pages that you're looking at. So what that means is the application has to be the presently active application, aside from OneNote, and the document has to be the present active document aside from OneNote. And I like this reminder so I always choose OK. I don't uncheck. I don't check that box. So notice the little flag pops up. The link has already been created. If I mouse over the icon it shows me where this will point. So Australian Museum website. So what I'm going to do now is create a new link to a Word document. So I'll give myself a new line again. Press Enter. I close Internet Explorer. I don't want to link to another web page, so I want that application closed. I open up Microsoft Word. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is just open up my file browser and grab the document I want. So open up Internet um, Windows Explorer, that is. Again, you can access that by clicking on the little folder icon on your taskbar or Windows between the Alt and Control keys. Hold down that key and tap E, and then you get your file explorer, Windows Explorer, uh, formerly known as Windows Explorer. So mine is on my desktop, in my delete folder, inside of OneNote folders. Again, that set of files I had you download in the zip archive, and we're going to use adding and formatting notebook content and. Emergency content, contact dot docx. So I'll make I'll open that up. So now, so now that's the active application and the active document again, aside from OneNote, of course. So now, with that document active, when I add my link, sorry, when I add my text, it will become a link to that document. So I'm going to enter. Send the emergency contact form to families. And this little icon pops up. Send the emergency contact form to families. Press enter. Actually, I don't need that extra line. I'm done with my list here. 
I close um, the Word document. I'm done with Winters, uh, Windows Explorer as well. I'll close that. And I'll make this uh, full size again. By this I mean OneNote. So if I click on my little normal view arrow, we saw that before, you see that I now, now have those two links. If I need to open up those documents, I could do so right from OneNote, uh, OneNote. So I'll just click on that one. There you go, it opened up that document. Or that web page. So you have to click on the link and then mouse over the icon. Now notice when I clicked on the web page, it actually opened the web page in my default browser. So in order to create the link, uh, only a Microsoft product will work. I'm not sure if actually Edge works, uh, but Microsoft um, Internet Explorer definitely does. But when I clicked on the link, it of course opened it in my default browser. That's the operating system setting. That got nothing to do with uh, OneNote. So again, view, dock to desktop, Make sure your document is the active document, add to text, and then the text will link to, to your active document. Thanks so much for watching.